Have you ever asked yourself the question, can I restore to another managed instance that I've deployed in another region, but within my same subscription? Yes, you can. And I'm going to show you how by using Geo Restore on today's Tales from the Field. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. If this is your first time finding this over at Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. Speaking of subscribing, thank you to those approximately 60% that have hit that subscribe button. For those other 40%, if you're out there and you're liking our content, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button. Speaking of content, we have content that drops every Tuesday for our community roundtable where we discuss blogs, videos, anything that we find that is super helpful that is produced by you, the Azure Data community, for the Azure Data community. We also have an MS Tech Bits that we drop on Mondays and Tuesdays. You're here for one of those now. Let's get over to it. Let's walk through how to do a geo restore of a managed instance database. Let's do a quick review of geo redundant storage. You can see here, we have our primary region. We have our secondary region because managed instance is a pass service. We automatically back up to our primary region. We have three copies there and those are asynchronously moved to a secondary region. You get to see backups copy four, five, and six. These are the backups that we will utilize for geo restore. Okay. Let's switch over to some other documentation that I think it's important to cover when it comes to geo restore of their databases. Here for our geo restore considerations, you can see that we have a recovery point objective of up to one hour and a recovery time objective of up to 12 hours. This is important to consider when migrating to an Azure managed instance. If these geo restore considerations meet the SLA of your environment, there could be a possible cost savings here for you. You could have a managed instance spun up in your secondary region or your DR region. Using the new stop and start feature of the managed instance, you could stop the managed instance in your DR or secondary region. Then in the event of a catastrophic event or a need to failover, you could start up your managed instance in your secondary region and do a restore. Switching over to our demo, you can see here we have our Data ADS Migration MI, that's East US, that's gonna be our source. Then we have our Data Geo Restore MI in South Central US. This is going to be our target region. Staying here on our Data ADS Migration MI, underneath Database Management, you can see we have databases and we have our database for Geo Restore. This is the database that we're going to be doing a geo restore of to our target managed instance. Staying here on Data ADS Migration MI, under these settings, we're going to select Compute and Storage. You can see here I have the geo redundant backup storage radio button selected. One could say this is the, where the rubber meets the road. This is what's going to allow us to do a restore a geo restore of our database to our secondary region. Sliding over here to our data geo restore MI, our secondary managed instance, you can see you have new databases up here, but I'm gonna go over on the left-hand side here in my blade and under data management, I'm gonna select databases. So we select databases and here you can see up top, you're gonna have new database, just like on the previous screen. So there's multiple ways to do it. Select new database, we're going to type in our database for geo restore. That's what we're going to call it on our secondary instance. We're going to select next to data source. Then we're going to select a point in time restore. We're going to hit our drop down. We're going to select our data my ADS migration in mind. That's our source location. And we're going to recover it to our database for geo restore. And you can see the last available backup date that we're going to be recovering to. We're going to go to additional settings. We're going to leave these as is. With those left as is, we're going to select next to tags. We're going to then leave these empty and we're going to select review and create. Here on this screen, you're going to see it gives us our basic, our data source, our additional settings, allows us the ability to check and make sure our deployment or geo restore of our database is going to go as expected. We're going to go ahead and hit create. You can see here, it's going to go to a validation and then eventually it's going to go to submitting deployment and then it's going to be complete. We can then go to resource and we can go up here, upper right hand corner, select on our managed instance. And look at that. A database for geo restore has been recovered to our secondary instance. 
We can see its online status and we can see its creation time. One final thing I want to mention. Let's flip over here. Let's select Cloud Shell. Within Cloud Shell, we're going to run Git AZ SQL Instance Database Geo Backup. A little pixelization there to confuse you. And you can see here, after we run that command, it gives us a list of our databases that are available for Geo Restore. Now, you could use this to determine ahead of time what backups are available for me, or you could use this information as well as if you wanted to restore from PowerShell. What do we do today? We answered that age old question. Can I restore my managed instance that's in a different region, but within the same subscription? The answer to that was yes, we can by doing geo restore. Keep the comments going down below, share your thoughts, your input, and as always, be good to each other. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.